If you are using M1 Mac or the older Intel version, you must use these productive keyboard shortcuts to boost your work efficiency. There must be occasions that you copied some text from the internet and wanted to paste them on a Word or Notes file on your Mac. The text pastes with funky formatting. Well, no more weirder formatting now when you are pasting something from your clipboard. Just hold down Option, Shift, Command V to paste and match style. This really makes your workflow much smoother, especially if your work involves a lot of copy paste. How many times this happened, that you found a complicated word which you don't know the meaning of, and you searched it on Google to know the meaning? Well, you don't have to do now to look up the definition of something while you're in an app or on the web. Highlight the text and press Ctrl, Command D. The meaning of the word will be right on the screen. Admit it, most of us work with multiple tabs. Opening or closing browser tabs is time consuming. Instead of having multiple Google Chrome or Safari windows open, open a new tab by pressing Command T on your browser. Then close it by pressing Command W. Simple and easy, and it will make you look more tech savvy. One of the life-saving keyboard shortcuts for me is to capture or record a specific part of the screen or changing the screenshot settings. To open it press Shift, Command 5 by default the tools will appear at the bottom of the screen, but you can move them around if you like. You will find the controls for taking a screenshot from the left-hand side. You can choose to capture the entire screen, a single window, or a portion of the screen. But, I use this tool mainly for recording the Mac screen. You can choose to record the entire screen, or record a portion of the screen. Also you can change the customization options as well. Changing the file layout view has never been easier, up until now with these keyboard shortcuts. You can change the file layout view by holding Command and keys from 1 to 4. Press Command 2 to switch to list view. Command 3 for column view. Command 4 for gallery view. And Command 1 for icon view. You can also select multiple files by pressing the Command key while clicking the documents that you want, or if you click again, you will unselect them. Did you know, similar to switching between apps, you can switch between your browser tabs either on Safari or Google Chrome. You can press Control Tab to switch between active tabs moving forward, or press Control Shift Tab to switch backward between tabs. If you want to take a screenshot of the entire screen in a prompt way, well, you can do so by pressing the Shift, Command, 3 button and it will take the screenshot of entire screen. When you take a screenshot, it will appear at the bottom right corner of your screen as a thumbnail. If you leave it there, it will automatically save on your desktop. If you want to take a screenshot of the portion of your screen, press Shift, Command, 4, this will turn your pointer into a crosshair. From here, you can select the desired area of your screen and click and drag the selected area, then release your trackpad or mouse. You can press Escape key to cancel before releasing your trackpad or mouse if you changed your mind. Bonus tip. If you want to copy a selected area of your screen to your clipboard directly, so you can paste it to Microsoft Word or your notes directly, Press Command, Control, Shift, 4 and select your screen area, which you want to copy to your clipboard. And then, you can press Command, V, to paste it anywhere. This will reduce the clutter of screenshots on your screen. That's all for now, let us know in the comment section below, which keyboard shortcut was your favorite, and how many of them you knew already. If this video helps you guys, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel as we upload two videos a week on Monday and Friday, related to hardware and software solutions. I am your host Star, talk to you in next one.